Jeez, you way to make me feel old. But I, when I was a young boy. Yeah, that's right, everybody. I made that you watched in high school and middle school. And somebody was like, I watched this back in preschool. Fuck. <laughs>
Alrighty! Oh, look, more baby seals. We're here to stop this senseless slaughter of our people. 92. Hours. This has gone on for uh, too long. And now... I'm pretty sure this 92, th this whole counting quotes thing was my joke. I don't remember, though. It, it feels like it's mine. Ow, I just, I've just heard these things so long that I just, you know. You're going to pay. 355. We are... We... What are you... No, go on. Continue. Don't mind me. And... We are the ones who will stop you. Oh, wow. 419. That's... What the hell are you yeah. doing? Oh, sorry. It's a little hobby of mine. I hear these heroic speeches so wearily often, so I started making a mental list of how many times I've heard certain lines. You... you insane bastard. 190. Yeah? Well, uh, we're hmm. going to... F*** your face! <laughs> oh, my! 12. <laughs> and give the command. Twelve. Did Oria give the command? Get him. Get him! Get him! To stick to the plan! Quack! What plan? You just keep quacking over and over. And we're still alive! <laughs> Sir, they seem to be stronger than we thought. Oh, how cute they can hide their little power levels. Guys are using the TF2 mercenary audio tracks for all the random characters dying in the background. Kinda killing our guys. Oh, we have more of those things back at the ship. the ship. It's not like we're losing anything valuable. <laughs> I gotta say right now that Mori the Elder, this is next level intelligence. In the actual episode, it shows him like when they're clicking the things on their head. He's like, that's how they're tracking us. Get rid of that, and I can protect everybody. Well, at least give them time. And that is why I fucking, it's, it's like more, all, all, all joking aside, that Mori the Elder is such a smart fucking move. Like that literally is one of the smartest fucking moves from, a, from like a non-combat character. Like he knew he was going to die, but he's like, I'm literally going to fucking, he's literally going to hamstring him before they, he goes. <sighs> mm. <gasps> now you can no longer find our villages. Dodoria, kill them. Okay. Come on, bring it. There's three of us and one of you. Man, you must suck at math even worse than me. What do you mean? There's only two of you. That's not right. Ah! Million dollar cut! Ah! Goku! It's been too long! Hi there, Mrs. Briefs. Oh, Goku, you can call me what everyone else calls me. What's that? Mill. I forget, there was a joke in season three. Oh, you can call me Gilf now, Vegeta. Your culture is so confusing! <laughs> no idea what it means, but it's just the cutest little name. Well, you are quite the myth, honey. Now, what are you doing out of the kitchen? Oh, my mistake. Remember what I told you, sweetie. <laughs> sing. Wives are for kissing, not talking. <laughs> Have fun, you two. Wow, is this the ship? Well, Bulma told me to start on it while you were in the hospital, in case anything went wrong. Krillin? Krillin. The good thing is, it's almost all done. Wow! This is just the best day ever! <laughs> Whoops. Looks like I miscounted. I must be having an off day. Bravo, Dodoria! Now, Bravo. seeing as we have no one left to threaten you with... Oh wait, what are those adorable little things over there? You wouldn't. They're just so cute, though. I could just pinch their little heads off. Are you going to make me do that? Because it Oh, God, Martin's so great. I, I keep fanboying over Martin. I just keep fanboying over Martin's Frieza. It's so good. It's so good. This was such a... For, for the, when, when the Bardock movie came out, everyone was like, holy fuck, Martin's playing Frieza? Like, little, little Karibo, creator of all bridge series... Like, he's coming in to play the lead villain in DBZA's biggest season, essentially. Arguably. Every time he talks, I'm just like, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Martin, all I can say is Martin is, oh, God, he's good. He's really good at playing Frieza. At this point, I could go both ways. <laughs> As could I, Lord Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love the Zarbon jokes. I still love them. Oh, they're so fucking funny. As could I. <laughs>
<laughs> no, he does. He does acknowledge Zarbon's innuendos in a rant. Only then. He just doesn't react to them anymore because it's just part of the... That's why in Hiffle we made it so he has to do... We, we, we did reverse innuendos where he's trying to... Are we not doing phrasing? Fine. Here, take the ball and leave us be. Say, Gohan, he's handing over the Dragon Ball. Now no one else has to die. Oh, just one more question. Could you point us in the direction of the next village? You seem to have destroyed our scouters. That wasn't part of our deal. Ah. <laughs> and 500. The Dorians Sorry. show them what they want. <laughs> Okay, so that is me pitch modded. Ah! It's heavily pitch modded because we did we weren't really pegged down on the voice I was doing for him yet. So Kaiser just because it was just fully Scott just pitch modded the fuck out of me, made it high pitched, and that made it work. There's a, one other line in the next episode. That cell animation is straight from the Bardock special. Shh, shh, don't shh, shh, stop spoiling. Shh. Trillin, uh, uh, he's killing them. Happy thoughts, Gohan. Happy thoughts. You. You killed- I did- I did really like the- And 500, Dodoria! Killed my son! Yeah, sorry about that. How about I do you a favor? <laughs> Brutal. Brutality. You. Now you won't miss him. Oh, and while you're at it, could you deal with the rest? <laughs> I really do love kids. They don't leave much of a mess. Breathe, Gohan! You're a leaf! A leaf in a calm stream! The stream! Best Krillin moment ever! Sorry, best Gohan moment! Did I just get hit by a bowl cut? Quack! <laughs> <laughs> Million dollar line here! Zabon, what the hell was that? I believe that was the space duck, sir. <laughs> Fucking, the entire scene, I love all of it. I love all of it. I just, just, I believe that was the space duck, sir. I, I, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect, just like, mm-hmm. Just, just like, that wasn't a space duck. That's who that was. God damn it, we were being spied on again. <laughs> One more time, just because I fucking love this delivery from was everybody. Again, again, like, Antfish, Kaiser, and Martin are all so on point as their three characters in this episode. Chef kiss. It's just so great. Ah! Does that pay off? Zabon, what the hell was that? I believe that was the space duck, sir. This ship is awesome! Now, where's that button that makes blueberry muffins? There is no button like that. I never even considered that. Are you mm. sure? You It'd sure? be really nice to wake up in the morning, push a button, and have muffins. Mm. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink. Damn it, there is no muffin button! Darn. So... Is it ready to take off then, Dr. Briefs? Goodness, no. I still have to install the cappuccino machine. It's true. But I don't even drink coffee. It's not coffee, Goku. It's cappuccino. Now stay here. I need to grab the pots from my shop. Make sure not to touch anything like the gravity controls well, or the or start, the start button. button. The, the start, start button. button. Don't, don't touch the, the start, start button. button. Now I'll be right okay. back. I fucking okay. Don't touch the start button. The start button. Don't touch the start button. I'm gonna leave now. What if this is the button? <laughs> no, Goku. He's blasted himself off into space. What, what has science, science done? Sweetie, I do not see a sandwich with that beer. <laughs> Muffins smell like they're almost done. Episode 15. This was a challenge to write. Now, no joke. Now, apparently, so apparently. So now I look back at this um, episode and I remember specifically, this is a hard one. This is where we had to like hyper condense a lot of shit because we had to do this chasey. Now, I specifically remember that when the chasey was happening, we had a massive writer's block for the Doria chasey. We was like, okay, how do we write this? So I, lo I look back at these, some of these more challenging episodes and I'll, I'll, I'll pause at the particular part we get to here. Goku! Hi, Dr. Briefs. Goku, what have you done? You've mm. blasted off into space. You're incredibly lucky. I already set the coordinates for Namek, but you... Where did you get 
that muffin? Hmm? Muffin button? But I never installed a muffin button. Then where did I get this muffin? Listen, very cool. Listen, I will take credit for my jokes. Muffin button is entirely Kaiser and Lanny. That's Kaiser and Lanny, everybody, and especially Masako. Now, Masako was not a writer on the show, but boy, did he love that muffin button joke. <laughs> boy, did he. It's not shot against him. He just really loved it. Close, Goku. Whatever you do, don't fool with the gravity controls. It goes up to 100 times Earth's normal gravity. So what you're saying is, if I turn up the gravity, mm. then I can get stronger. No, what I'm saying is it will crush your bones. God damn it, Goku. Mental effects could be catastrophic. You may mm. never walk again. Or now, gotta train. Bye bye. Goku, wait! I like his mustache. Muffin Button embodies early 2000s internet comedy. It does. Are you alright over there? Yeah. Little bastards just hit me out of nowhere. Oh, trust me, I know what it's like to take a hard one to the face. It was like a game. Could everything he say be an, a double entendre? Maybe. <laughs> Good to see you're still conscious, Dodoria. Oh, and just so you know, it's not a big deal or anything. You might want to get right onto this one, but they're getting away, you fat bastard! <laughs> Not gonna lie, Gohan, not your brightest move. See, this is this is the part of the episode where it was really challenging to write this. Because we just, we had a, like, okay, so they're running away. They're being chased by the Doria. Vegeta's coming in. It's like, our, our, the footage they were giving us, very, again, this is tight. So at this point in the series uh, for the animation coming out, because uh, again, Dragon Ball Z followed the manga. So they're, they have a lot of space here. So they're pretty, cu cutting this down to the bare bones. And kind of just keep on, keep on going here. What? Look who's wrong! It's always for Brown! No, you don't! Look how wide! How do you think? Okay, so this. This was the part. This was a scene that I remember this specifically. I might even talk with Kaiser about this. This part of the episode, this was like a late night combo where we had to, like, we were bashing our heads against the wall to get this to work. So for this one, we had to like inter we had to be playful with how we did the cuts because we just had a casual conversation with them utilizing old footage where they're able to have a cut. So they were able to talk and then we cut to another part of what's happening. Instead of having all that happen on screen and just just redubbing what actually happens in DBZ, we reframe it here by having the separate conversation be intercut into those key moments of that fight. Instead of actually having to make that whole fight funny, we instead make the major beats the payoff of each of these lines of dialogue to get us to where we need to go. And that is why when I talk about like limitations aren't a bad thing. If like we can't make this fight funny, well we can cut it with something else. We can cut this. We can add something or we can recontextualize it. We can reuse what we have. And this is a perfect example of that because I think this took like hours to figure out. And when we finally figured out, we were like, thank God. Big happy sigh. And it came out to this scene. What the Doria is doing up there? We're talking about one of my finest soldiers. There's no way that they... Thank you for the, thank you for the hype train, everybody. Escape the Doria's grasp. God damn it. But what if See, this is why like, we had all these beats we wanted to hit with the fight, but we just didn't know because there was no talking or animation, really. It was just fighting and survival. So we needed a way to intercut it with comedy. So this is what we did. They have any tricks up their sleeves. Come now, Zarbon. We both know Dodoria would never let them out of sight. Forward flare! <laughs> God damn it! There we go, everybody. Still, we okay, guys! The first of many solar flare jokes. Okay, so here... Oh my god, it's so most replayed. Of course it is. God damn it! Still, sir, we have to remember that Vegeta... You know what my favorite thing is, everybody? You know what my favorite thing is? Some people... The reason why we did these jokes is some people, no joke, some people literally can't see frames that quickly. I can see it because I know it's coming, and some of you can see that, but not everyone is capable of catching that because they can't see that. So some people uh, will never catch that. Yeah, it's true. It, some people can't catch that. That's why some people are like, wait, what? That? Wait, they can't? Some people... See, see what? See, I've never seen that. Even though you have, but the problem is...
It's so fast, right? There you go. Caesar just admitted it too. That I've never caught that before. Wild card as well. I had no idea it was there. From Waskar. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. From Clockwork Skies. Every single solar flare after this solar flare features a weird image. See, chat, I, I love, I'm loving how you're reacting right now, chat. I'm not going to lie. This is like, some people are like, wow, people can't see that? I'm like, yeah, that's why that joke is really fun. Oh, please. Like Vegeta could even lay a hand on Dodoria. Now, at this point, we had decided to change Dodoria's gender from male to female. I forget why we decided to do that. Maybe it was to have, a, have a, <laughs> another female character on the planet. But um, this was an idea. So originally we have a lot of male, uh, like kind of male gendered terms because we hadn't decided yet to do that. But this is why in this scene, we had decided that Dodoria, we we're going to make Dodoria a woman. So what we do now is they use gender neutral terms. Oh, please, Dodoria will handle this instead of, oh, don't worry, he will handle it. Because technically, he sh technically, Frieza should say, oh, don't worry, she will handle it. What's up, Bubblegum? Vegeta, you got some serious balls to get the drop on me. Funny you should mention that. I just happen to be looking for a set. Well, look at you, Veggie. All grown up and out on your own. Trying you, to move Veggie. up in the world. Look at you, packing away more bacon than Hormel. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be laughing when Frieza finds your scrawny ass. So how about I make you a deal? You hand over that pretty red scouter, and maybe I won't point Frieza in the right direction. Oh, you mean this scouter? That's right. Well, I'd be inclined to give it to you, but you see, there's a problem with it. And what would that be? It's broken. Blah! You fool! Now you're as blind as the rest of us. Not quite. See, while I was on Earth, I learned a new trick. I can sense energy. How the hell did you do that? Uh, get it uh, out. Guys, this happens all the time in DBZ. All the time. This is not our writing. This is Dragon Ball Z writing. I now can do this. Why? Uh, uh, I don't know. Just can. It's the silliest of writing, guys. It really is. It's why I fucking, like, like, Goku shows up, I can now read your mind. Really? Yes. What the fuck? It's just ran, random made up shit. I'm telling you, everybody, never love something more than creator. You'll set yourself up for failure. I can sense energy. How the hell did you do that? Uh, wait a minute. I get it now. Those little bastards I was chasing were Earthlings. You sent them to lure me away from Frieza. I'm sorry, but at this point, all I hear is, Hit me, Vegeta. Please kill me. God, this armor makes me look fat. That's it. Naughty little prick. I am in Dugong. I'm too lazy. Any last words before I take you apart like a pink potato head? Wait, I can tell you what really happened to your planet. You mean that Frieza blew it up? No, that Frieza blew it up. What? Oh! Really should have told Frieza to keep off the Twitter. Please. Always been bad ever since he was let back. Thank you. Don't kill me. <laughs> Look at you, Tutoria. You were always so damn proud. And now here you are, crying like a woman. I am a woman. What? I said I am a woman. What? Well, good thing yeah. I was there to get us out of that one. Well, yeah, but why didn't you use your Kienz on? Hey, look! I even saved this <laughs> thing! Can you fly, little guy? My name is Dende, and yes, we... Okay, so this episode, uh, I think in a little bit of the next episode, I'm pitch modded a little bit because... Uh, I'm like, I think I'm trying to do the voices like, my name is Dende. It's, it's just like, but I, I can't, essentially, when I play Dende, um, I play him a little bit in my fault, not my falsetto, but I play him a little bit up here. It's been years. Um, so that's why I do the voice for Dende. He's my only hero character. He's my only good guy I play. Everyone else is a bastard, essentially. But yes, I play a little green. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I fought for, I wanted to play Dende. Huh? I, 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 did they really a good guy? Well, we never got to the boo arc, so. <laughs> um, by the way, Gohan, I noticed you're hanging out with, um, Gestures at Videl. Fat. I'm just wondering when it's going away. 
how would Dende sound when he's like older? Uh, it's pretty much just me talking, more or less, like this. Uh, if I play Dende when he's older, pretty much just like this. All right, Gohan, I'll be honest with you. Uh, put up with a lot here. That's right, he does. I do, I do, because I'm God. Damn it, God. Damn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're learning lots about me, chat. But yeah, this is. But I'm pitch smarter than this. I'm not gonna say I hit this high note because I just didn't. It's artificial. Like, uh, like many VTubers, my the voice you are hearing is not actually what I sound like. And is a little bit pitch modded. Wink! Can you fly, little guy? My name is Dende. And yes, we all learn when we are children. You know, you should probably stick with us. Okay, so like, I don't even know how to play. Ah, it's Dende. So it's pretty much, I'm playing Dende like he's in shock. That was at least the, uh, at least the idea. Considering it is either that or going back to meet the same fate as my brother and father, I am weighing my options. I am weighing my options. I like you. I'm going to call you Little Green. My name is Dende. Is Dende. Come on, Little Green. Let's go introduce you to Bulma. And that's why I... <laughs> I sound like Bobcat Goldblatt in reality. No. I, 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 I don't really know much about anime or... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my Bobcat Goldway. The real impression I can do is my pitch perfect Gilbert Gottfried. Dragon Ball Z abridged! Why is it so long if it's meant to be abridged? There we go, everybody. <laughs> Alright, moving on. I was considered the most beautiful and fertile woman on my home planet. Before Frieza blew it up. He tends to do that also. <laughs> So now you know <laughs> the truth, Vegeta. Yes, I do. And now I'm going to start repressing the truth. And the first step is killing you. Wait, you and I, we could team up against Frieza, rule the universe as husband and wife. Repressing in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> And repressed. Dragon explode, thank you. Cullen, that's the cave. Hey, Bye, Bye, Dodoria. You clean up in there? And what's wild is now Dodoria, I think, has had more lines of dialogue. At least as many lines of dialogue in Hiffel now. And also, by the way, Anfish, like, works professionally as a voice actor, like, big time. And, of course he does. He's so fucking talented. I think it's really cool that Anfish came back to play Dodoria. Uh, for, you know, and, and Captain Ginyu, ribbit. Croak. He came back to play those characters, and it was really fun. He didn't need to do that, and it's really cool that he did. We have guests! I do not think I want to go in there. Oh, don't worry. That's just Bulma. I do not know what this Bulma is, but it sounds needy. Hey, Bulma, open up! Hmm? Well, if it isn't Mr. Super Soaker himself, what happened? Got tired of abandoning me and found something else to abandon? Mr. Super Soaker is a hell of a great name. You're right, chat. Bulma, you're scaring little green. I am still weighing my options. Oh, by the way, my dad called earlier. He says Goku's on his way here. And he'll be here in six days. Well, good thing I took out that life insurance policy. Mr. Gohan, those things on that person's chest, what are they? Oh, I'm Bulma. And those are breasts. They look lovely. I wish to nestle between them. You are just adorable. You can hear how pitch modded that sounded. I'm not going to lie. You can just hear how pitch modded that sounds. Because uh, I just was not hitting this line, especially. See? They look lovely. <laughs> I like my delivery, but it wasn't... Uh... They, look lo they look lovely. See, I can do it now. They look lovely. They look lovely. Like, now my voice is, like, up there now, but back then it wasn't really there. Because I gotta, gotta try and remove all the bass from my voice, and it's really hard. Because I sound like this all the time. Like, I'm really, I do sound like this. Oh, no, no, Ginyu, we won't need any assistance. We have this all under control. Lord Frieza, I wish to enter. Oh, pardon me, I have to take this. Ta-ta! What is it, Zarbon? Good old goat well, Skype. Sir, the scout has reported back. Good, so Dodoria has eliminated those pests then. Well, that's just it. It turns out she's dead. What the f***? 
there is so much we had to convey in that episode. I want you to know what we conveyed in that episode. That they ran away. That Vegeta interrupts Dodoria attacking them. They get to Bulma. They meet up with Bulma. And then it is confirmed that the Ginyu Forest is on us. It's like we had to we had to establish so much after that town that essentially we have to set up we have to we have to set this table because the show starts going separate different directions. This is the truth. What the plot does it goes it has like Vegeta's plot, uh, the Z Fighters, which worst name ever plot, Zarbon, then Frieza. It just keeps you keep adding pieces to it. Eventually, like even though it's a kind of a boring plan, there's lots of separate angles to cover here. So just off the seat. Training. I need the right music to train to. Let's see. Copyrighted! Ah! 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 That was good.